So here at this job, the customers had issues with hot water, although the schedule has been set to for the boiler to heat the hot water cylinder for two and a half hours every evening. There's been no hot water every night. So the only thing left to do is to get rid of this Google Nest and replace it with a Hive. Hive is a uh, preferable smart control as it is 100% wireless and also the technical support is always there and they're great, unlike Google, unfortunately. So, first thing we're going to do is unpackage our new Hive and in the box you'll find the thermostat, the receiver and the car. First thing we need to do before we start any works is we need to take the Hive out. It comes with two leads. So it comes with two cables. One Ethernet cable goes in the back of the hub. The other one is the router. And then obviously the power cable, which again goes into the back of the hub. And this has on the other end a USB connection. Now it's supplied with a plug because not all internet routers. So now we're going to plug this into the nearest socket and switch it on. We see the green lights on. Now, it will take about 10 to 15 minutes to get our amber light, which will tell us that it's connected to our internet and ready to pair. Now, what we need to take note of is this code here, which in this case is ROX406. So we, we take that, we write it down. And at this point, we ask the customer to download the Hive app and on the home screen where it asks you for your login details at the bottom in blue writing it will say create an account you create an account you set up a username which will be your email address and your chosen password and then we wait 10 to 15 minutes before we proceed with the rest of the installation okay so we're going to open the hive app on our phone and it will bring you to the login screen now obviously you're not logging in you're creating a new account. So at the bottom here in blue, you've got create an account. You click that, accept all cookies. Obviously, we're in England. And then you put in your contact information. Okay, so now we have our solid green light and our flashing amber light. This means that the hub is now ready to pair. Okay, so we're at the boiler. Here we have our current nest receiver. Here we have the wiring center. And this fuse spur here is our supply for the whole heating system so obviously first thing we're going to do is we're going to isolate the switch and we're going to remove the fuse we don't actually have to remove remove the fuse itself but we slide the drawer out now we're going to unscrew the retaining screw at the bottom of our nest receiver release the cable clamps okay so we'll always have on the inside of the cover of any thermostat or should have at least a wiring diagram so here we see we've got neutral and live as labeled on the terminals. And then we've got a symbol here, which is for central heating. And we've got drop of water there, which symbolizes hot water. <coughs> so basically at the moment we've got live and then we've got a link going to take common over to our hot water circuit as well as our central heating circuit. But here we're installing a new hive so all we need is to know which one's for central heating which in this case our call for central heating is our black cable black wire sorry and hot water is our gray cable this is how i always like to keep it black wire for central heating dirty central heating water and the paler color for hot water that's the way i like to do it now <coughs> so earth cable and we just take out the live and neutrals so very simple we have our cable ready now we remove the thermostat receiver now because our nest receiver is different size to the standard size so oh, battery just <laughs> okay so now that we've taken the old nest receiver off we have our new hive receiver so we'll take it out of the box unscrew the retaining screws okay so we have our new back plate now the nest is a little bit wider so we already have our Horizontal line previously on the spirit level, so we just need to mark where our new plug's gonna go. It's gonna go right there. We'll get our self driving drywall plug. And so on the hive back plate for the heating and hot water type, we've got our neutral live connections here. And then hot water on is number three, and number four is central heating on. So now that we've got our 
plugs ready in position we're gonna fix the back plate okay so first of all the cables are surface mounted then we get our back plate and what we need to do is simply snap off the bottom entry cable points and now we get our wireless always good practice let's start with the earth make sure everything is safely earthed okay so now we get our neutral and we tighten the terminal it's very important make sure to get it super tight especially with the neutral and connect our live wire to the live terminal so now we said we're going to use our gray wire for hot water demand so that's number three hot water on okay nice and tight and then that leaves us a black wire which is our central heating demand now if we're not replacing a nest thermostat if we're replacing a conventional programmer with a separate room thermostat then what we would do is we would remove the existing thermostat and we would connect the the common to the switch live in the terminal block and isolate safely and ideally we tie that cable in the wall and um, usually screw back the existing thermostat to avoid so now I always like to prepare one screw just for simplicity. So we screw that into our wall plug and then level it up and put a second screw in. So now finally after press the pairing we have our solid green light in the top right corner of our receiver. This means that our thermostat is now paired. And as we can see on the thermostat, it's now giving the beginner's tutorial on how to use the thermostat. It goes through all the sequences. That's right. Now on the receiver here we have our heating signal light and our hot water signal light. These are also buttons so if for whatever reason you lost pairing or batteries run out you can bypass heating or hot water. You can switch on the heating like so and the hot water also and in a few seconds you will see our boiler firing. Now so now we can see our boiler has ignited and we've got our two green lights the heating one will eventually stop flashing and become solid so this now by now the customer should on their app after clicking find thermostat should have all the options and controls to control heating or water if for whatever reason it's still searching then we ask the customer to close the app wait 10 seconds and reopen the app and automatically it will all be in sync and that is how to install hive so now that we have everything paired and in the working order everything can be controlled on this high thermostat the heating hot water on off boost we have our boost buttons at the top hot water heating and here we have our actual temperature and this is our target which we regulate and when we're happy with the temperature it has to be at least 1.5 degrees above the actual then we click it in and as you can see we've got a solid green light on the heating circuit on the receiver now if for whatever reason the customer doesn't currently have internet then obviously you won't be able to pair the system with the hub to enable the customer to operate it and select schedules etc on a phone or tablet so in this case there's nothing you could do all you could do is pair the receiver with the thermostat and leave the technical helpline number with the customer for whenever they get their internet router and are able to plug the hub in and then they will have to hive technical are very good and they will run you through the steps on how to reset and reinstall the connectivity with the hub and your smart devices